And then the core of the seminar is on the A, the awareness of other people. Because when you're going through change, so much of the fear is based on what about me? You know, how is this going to impact my life? And your world really closes in. Um, you start to believe in your mind that people are making decisions on purpose just to get at you. Um, and, and so I really think a big part of handling change in a positive way is to be able to consciously draw the circle bigger than you. Um, it's not all about you. It's and not? It's not. It's, it's not? really not. Oh, my God. You're kidding. You're yeah. part of something bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all about it. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's why we're doing this seminar. That's so right. You don't have Good. to go for therapy. I'm going to have to Hey, now. Hey, now. So, but, um, and, you know, the psychiatrist will tell you in their oh. expensive lessons yes. to get the focus off yourself. That yeah. if you will, if you've gone through a change, a loss of a loved one, right. if you can find a way to volunteer, somewhere to put your passion, somewhere that you're making a difference in somebody else's life, mm -hmm. um, that it, that's where you start to make a difference in healing yourself. Mm -hmm. This Christmas, I was alone for the first time ever. My, my oldest daughter is 28 years old. And mm -hmm. every year since my children have been born, I have three, 28, 27, and 23, um, I've had them with me for Christmas. And this year was the first year that they weren't with me. And I woke up Christmas morning, and I was totally by myself. Right. And it would have been very easy to have a pity party. Oh, no, yeah, sure. Oh, it's me. This Golly. is not Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And I just realized that I had to get out of my own way, that, you know, I had a choice. And the decision was mine, whether to be discouraged or to right. be grateful. And I got dressed. I, my mother came over, and um, I fixed them breakfast. And then by 10 o'clock, I left the home, my home and went to Libby's at the homeless oh, shelter. Good, good. And they had more volunteers than they had people there. Wow. And I said, I'm so glad you all are doing well. I'm going to go elsewhere. And I went to the Presbyterian Church for and worked with the Red Cross for, for the day. Yeah, yeah. And it rained all day. Oh, we yeah. had a ball. We sang carols. We hugged people. We passed out food and clothes. It was the most wonderful day, yeah, and at the yeah. end of the day, I came home and I fixed myself a hot cup of coffee and got out my favorite Christmas books, and, and I was just at peace. It had been mm -hmm. a very different Christmas, but a, just a great Christmas, mm -hmm. and it was just because I've taken that step for it not to be about me. Good for you, Donna. Um, that is tough to do. It is. I mean, tough not to think it about fam uh, your immediate family, your birth, your yeah. own children. Surely being with your mother was a great way to start it off mm -hmm. and, uh, and put, put a real focus on her and then on the homeless. One of my favorite um, resources about dealing with change is a book called The Four Agreements. It's by mm -hmm. Don Miguel Ruiz. I love this book. I think it ought to be mandatory reading, just like The Seven Habits. Everyone, of, yeah. yes. Yeah. Just like The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, but he talks about four basic principles that the Toltec civilization, which was an ancient civilization, used to um, live by. And they didn't have commandments or um, bylaws or mm -hmm. constitutions. They had four simple laws. And everyone was asked to abide by these within their community. Mm -hmm. And the first one was always tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Which is critical. Sure. You know, as you're going through change, so much of the stress issues are of not knowing who to trust or, right. you know, who's playing you. And so mm -hmm. if everybody just makes a commitment, everybody's going to tell the truth in this. Yes. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Don't speak out of both sides of your mouth. Don't mm -hmm. say one thing to me and one thing to somebody else. The second one, and in my book it should have said Dear Donna, mm -hmm. was don't take it personally. And we type A personalities, when we put our heart into you something. We, you mean you. Yeah. That's okay, right. yeah. me. No, no. <laughs> but when you put your heart into something, yeah. if somebody doesn't agree with it, if somebody sabotages it, if somebody does something or doesn't like it, right. it's hard not to take it personally. Oh, yeah. And once you do that, the energy becomes negative. Oh, yeah, and totally, totally. So it's don't take it personal. It's, it, people aren't making decisions to make your life miserable, mm -hmm. and you have to look beyond that. Mm -hmm. The third one was don't make assumptions, mm. which is a great um, We hear that, but a lot well. of you still make them, absolutely. It is. Sure. And, you know, the word the assume assuming, right. is self-explanatory, right, right. and you can write it down and figure yeah, that out. Absolutely. And, like, um, but don't assume that people are making decisions um, why they're doing it. Find out. Find out the facts before mm -hmm. you get emotionally involved in something yeah, one way sure. or another. And the fourth one was always do your best. 
that if you're mm -hmm. going to put your name on it, if you're going to be involved in a process, mm -hmm. make it your best. Mm -hmm. Don't be there half-heartedly. Don't give 70% because you think that's better than other people's 100. Mm -hmm. If your name is going to be on it in the process of the change, make it your best. Mm -hmm. And and I just love those concepts, mm -hmm. and I deal with those in the seminar under mm -hmm. awareness of others. Yes. Well, we've just got so. a, a five minutes or so, okay. Donna, and you've got... New New resources, is that right? New yeah. resources, yeah. just like the book we just recommended. Um, start watching new things, um, talking to new people, right. getting new ideas to start to think outside of the boundaries, to mm -hmm. look for new ways to do things. The G is that your goals be redefined, that you remember that it is about chapters. And maybe the people that knew me two years ago knew me as Donna Tyson, the Red Bow owner. Mm -hmm. But it's a new chapter, yeah. and, um, and I need to redefine my goals for this chapter of mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. and be willing to accept the new identity in this chapter. And the E is be enthusiastic, and that I believe in that no matter what. I think your spirit is what stays with people long after the product is gone. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to go through change, then control the one thing you do have the ability to control, and that's your attitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's tremendous, Donna. And you moved through those last three very fast. When I said five minutes, it was five seconds. Wow. Well, that's uh, there was one of the one of the six letters. Thank you, six letters and change. One of those six letters that talked about other people you're around, and I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was the age uh, or awareness, exactly, and the awareness of others. And oftentimes, very positive people will keep you up, but very negative people can really pull you down. And that is just something to be so careful about. It's a critical choice. It's a critical choice of who you choose to associate with. Mm. at any given time in your life. But as a, as a type A personality or any type of personality, oftentimes you want to be around folks who are at a low point because you're trying to help them out and pump them up. But unfortunately, that can be very difficult at times as well. When you're really striving to help somebody, there's oftentimes just being pulled down. And for me personally, in that journey of learning um, when to create barriers, when right. to step back from trying to help other people. Um, it's learning the difference between discernment and judgment. You're not judging them if you decide to step away. You've made a discernment that that energy is going to have a negative impact on you being able to stay strong. Mm -hmm. How do you relate that to someone else? I mean, and, and I know you're not a therapist necessarily, and you're obviously a motivational speaker and, and do much more than that, but how do you find a way to make sure that someone on the other end isn't hearing it as judgment and instead is hearing it as discernment? I think you go back to the I statements. You know, it's not a judgment about you're doing this or that. It's right. going back to, in this chapter of my life, right. this is what I need to do, this is what I need to be, and these are the things I need to focus on. Mm -hmm. And I need you to be strong enough to focus on the things you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don, any big uh, publicly attended events coming up soon? Do you have any things that would be open to our viewers? Uh, Actually, they're all folks. paid for by the right. individual company, so we oh, don't yeah. have anything. We might need to talk. We might yeah, need yeah, to do yeah. something. Yeah, 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 sure, here. absolutely. If you think about you know, our viewers in the PD in southeastern right. North Carolina, I'm sure you travel around this eight-county area, but uh, yeah, a lot of this... Know. You're traveling, you're on the road a good bit. What's that? That life can be tight on the H and change, on the health side. I mean, uh, flying around all the time. I'm trying really hard to limit the speaking to four to seven times a month right now. Ooh, and, really? um, right. and to be able to live a life that, that is exactly what I came to the beach to do. I'm yeah. writing and journaling and trying to make sure the new seminars are powerful. Mm -hmm. So early this morning, yeah. as the sunrise was up, but before yeah. an hour ago, and I know you got ready very quickly to come over here, thank you very <laughs> much but as you're out there what do you carry with you you carry uh, I take a bag with me and in my bag is my Bible um, it is a daily devotion book yeah. um, that is a spiritual book a daily devotion book that is a secular book right. and then another devotion book and a journal uh -huh. and um, I actually have about an hour long process between all you. of that that, yeah. that I study and read and it is it is my peace time so, I love it. Yeah, and so oftentimes it's so cathartic out there. It's so cleansing, I'm sure, but probably a great place to come up with great ideas for new Absolutely. topics. You're jotting them down, or do you take a tape recorder? And, I take a journal right, with me, yeah, and I yeah. write down things. And, yeah. and that is exactly where the book came from, The Red right. Bow, where dealing with change served with love. And this morning it is um, my heart box. And um, so there's always a new idea. 
Those are great words. Donna, thanks so much for getting in with us this morning. It's a tremendous opportunity, not only to highlight change, but just to see you again. Thanks for letting me be here. It's always a pleasure. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Donna Tyson coming up next. You know, normally when I think of acronyms, i got to write down what they mean real quick or I'm going to forget them. In an instance like what the, the attendees at the International Association of Workplace Professionals were going through when Donna spoke at their annual convention, and she mesmerized them, standing ovations and everything. It was that simple message that she got across. And you don't have to rush to write it down because you're going to remember it. If you've been here the last 25 minutes, you wouldn't have any trouble remembering the, what the acronym there, CHANGE, stands for courage. And it's critical. And when you think about health, that H in health is so important. If it's, if it's so all, all great, the body's flowing really well, and then something's pulling it down, you've got to get it all together. And awareness really ties into that, awareness of your own body, but awareness of so many others and, and of people around you. There's an end in change, and new resources come into play. And goals, we always think about goal setting. That G, I think of a lot of things when I think of G, but goal setting is so critical. Recognize with change there's a lot of goals involved. You've got to reestablish goals and move forward. And then, of course, that E. That E, when I think of E, I think of excitement. I think of Everett oftentimes. I may even think of Emma Claire. But at this point, you've got to think about enthusiasm. I hope you were thinking enthusiasm as you've been thinking and writing down that acronym. If you see Donna Tyson in person, enthusiasm is something you get.